Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore. And in today's episode, we will learn about the geranium citrosum or the pelagonium citrosum that has these ruffled leaves that are amazingly fragrant. And if you like me are a sensory gardener who loves their scented plants, then this one is a must have. Now, there are a lot of myths and misconceptions regarding this plant which we will discuss at first. Now, this plant is mistaken for the citronella plant and is sold in the market as such. The citronella plant is actually the lemongrass plant or the symbopogon natus. Both have a very citrusy smell but the citrosa has a more sweet pan or a very damask rose aroma compared to the very obviously lemony lemongrass. This is wrongly sold as the mosquito plant or the odomos plant but research has shown that this has no mosquito repelling quality. This is more specifically ineffective against the Aedes aegypti. The lemongrass however has shown mosquito repelling qualities in the essential oil that is extracted from it. So with that little misconception of our chests let's get into the core characteristics of the plant. Foliage. The foliage is a lime green to dark green color depending on the light exposure you give. The light green comes with more sun exposure and the darker shade due to less exposure. The leaves are hairy and rough when touched. Blooms. Now this is something I need to wait out and observe because I haven't seen any blooms on this so far. Some websites say this gives out blooms but I need to see it to believe it and I will promptly update you on this. The foliage can remain mildly fragrant when kept under full blazing sun without touching. But when the leaves are crushed, prepare to fall in love with this plant if you haven't already. This is a perennial plant and is edible. Now, I don't want to get into classifications, family and other details because they keep changing in the plant world. So one has to treat such details with caution while just parroting Wikipedia content. So we will leave that for now. The stems have a fake spine-like structure that isn't spiny at all. Maybe it's just a safety feature that the plant has to ward off grazing animals. Culture. In India, this is used in garlands for its fragrant foliage and this is not the Davanam if I'm not wrong. The Davanam is the Artemisia plant which I have in the garden but I guess this one is the more invasive Artemisia absinthium which I have to discard. Now let's look at some important care tips. Sunlight. This can take both part and full sunlight conditions. So this is ideal for both terrace and balcony settings. This may be grown indoors in a very brightly lit space but can grow leggy. Watering. The soil needs to be kept wet consistently during the summer months and during winters you can reduce watering. Soil media. Please use a compost-rich soil that retains some amount of water. So use a mix of 40% garden soil, 30% sand and 30% compost. Fertilizing. You can use compost once a month during summers or add some seaweed fertilizer into this twice a month again during summer. Container size. Container size can be small since this does not reach great heights. Pruning. The lower leaves dry out first so remove such leaves so that the energy of the plant goes into producing newer leaves. Pests. This is largely pest resistant as far as I've observed but this could be because of the ample air circulation this plant gets and also the pungent fragrance could be a factor. Cold tolerance. This grows well throughout the year in warm zones and may not do well in frost affected zones of the world and may need overwintering. Propagation. Propagation can be done using cuttings. Take a stem cutting by cutting it just below a node. And the same must have at least two to three leaves and then place it in a well draining mix and you will get new plants in no time. Do this when the weather outside is warmer. So bring this plant for what it actually does then falling for marketing gimmicks of nurseries and YouTube clickbaits that question our collective intelligence. So the next time an influencer sells this to you as a mosquito plant, question or correct them even if that influencer is me. The last thing we need to be are lambs who take in everything without questioning. 
idealizing is fine but do not succumb to blind faith in anything for that matter the world would have been a better place if only we asked more questions of our leaders and change makers and who would have thought that a humble plant like the citrusum can teach us such worldly lessons that can make this world a little more nicer and with this we've come to the end of yet another episode of urbanscape bangalore and i really hope you enjoyed this particular program additionally you can follow me on instagram and facebook the links are given below and always remember to grow slow is to grow well thank you for watching and until we meet again a very warm goodbye